Hey guys, welcome to Mini Mini TV, and I am back again with another video. Hey guys, so in this video, I wanted to come and give you guys another pregnancy update. I wanted to put these two weeks together because now that it's coming so much closer to the end, all the um, symptoms are like low-key the same. So um, this week will be 34 and 35 weeks. Um, and I'm just going to say that I'm just so happy that it's almost over. And I'm so happy that he'll be here. I do have his name picked out and I have his name revealed already. Um, I think what I will do is I will show him and I will show his name. But I do want to just kind of hold off on that and just, you know, have my time with him and you know share our special moments first before i go putting him on camera so i do want you guys to be able to see him because you will you have been a part of this journey and you have been like watching my videos and stuff like that so um i don't even know if i've been looking in the camera but i'm sorry if i'm not um i just feel like i'm looking all over the place but um i do want to show him to you guys so this week um i am 35 weeks and let me just say that my gas is real and i think i said that in my last video too but my last my gas has gotten like really really real i have severe heartburn um to the point where like it shoots up into my throat so i've been taking prilosec um also um the body pain has been real i no longer sleep in the bed i sleep on the couch because it's just so much easier to get up and because he's measuring bigger it's also hard for me to like hold my pee so like i've been having to wear like pads even though i don't have no period because if i don't get to the bathroom when i need to get to the bathroom i'm peeing on myself so um the pads have been coming in handy um what else um what else is going on with me the swelling of the feet and the leg cramps have also been very real but um i read somewhere that like if you eat bananas and you eat mustard that kind of like helps stop it from happening so i've been doing that and i haven't gotten one cramp yet because when you get them cramps in your legs when you pregnant your legs be like sore for like three days and who got time for that when you have to work so um i've been eating bananas and mustard well not together because that's gross but um separately um what else is going on with me um i did my hair finally i didn't like dye it even though i want to but i'm gonna just wait until the baby is born i straightened it out i have a um curly to straight hair routine um because i finally got some energy to do something with my hair so i was like let me do it for my birthday so i straightened my hair out for my birthday even though it took like two days for me to do it but hunty i did it everything is a-okay and everything is already set up for baby um all his clothes are washed all his diapers are where they're supposed to be and his car seat is ready and all of that um the only thing that i haven't gotten done yet is 
um, just like taking the time to like relax and like really enjoy like these last couple of weeks um but i mean when you got things to do you got things to do so i mean i got a ob appointment every week and now i am starting to go to the non-stress screening um twice a week so three days out the week I'm going to the doctor and this week well on my 36th week I should be getting that swab that kind of like lets them know like if I'm you know about to have the baby or whatever and like I said in the last video I do have a induction date but I'm not going to release that yet until he's here um because I just want to you know be able to have something in private and to myself um what else what else what else what else um I think that's it oh I've been getting cramps real bad too um and it's just because like he's already head down and um you know taking over all my space in there he don't really have any space to move or anything so um i think that's another reason why i'm getting like really bad um acid reflux and like heartburn and stuff i also have headaches a lot but i think that's just because sometimes i don't drink enough water um but other than that everything is everything everything is good um and i think that's it that's the only thing that has really been happening is just a little bit more difficult to walk because you know he's so big and he's so big and um you know he's heavier I think he might be about seven pounds when he's born hopefully not hopefully he's a little bit on the smaller side and he's like slowing down but I feel like he is gonna be a big baby because he's a big baby also um they have increased my insulin levels because for whatever reason my no matter what i do my fasting isn't going down my fasting sugars aren't going down so they did increase my insulin levels a little bit more um so i'm just hoping that by the time he actually comes i don't have to um continue taking insulin and taking metformin and my body will just regulate out because his hormones will be out and my hormones will be trying to get back to normal so i'm just hoping that after all this is done i don't have diabetes but i'm also aware of how diabetes works because both of my parents have it so um that's just something that I would just have to manage more closely because now it's not me anymore. It's me and my baby. So I just wanted to come in and give you guys this update. Um, I do want to try to record my labor and delivery, but I can't promise you guys that I will probably try to record me when I go into labor if i go into labor on my own if not um i will be induced so i will try to vlog that process but um don't hold me to it because if that shit hurts i'm not gonna be worried about pulling out a camera to vlog and then you guys will just have a labor and delivery story video and not like an actual labor and delivery story but i'm gonna try i'm gonna try and get it to you but um 
that's all that's going on with me i'm tired i'm winded and i'm just ready to have this baby and soon he'll be here so i'm so excited and i love feeling like his little moves and kicks and punches or whatever he's doing in there because it lets me know that he's okay um but like i said guys thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for following and keeping up with me on this journey um and like i say usually thank you so much for all your love and all your support and i catch you on the flip so don't flop and i see you again next video guys bye sometimes we're insecure we're fragile sometimes